so I just wanted to take a moment and kind of just say like how disappointed I am in the world that we're living in right now like we just got over COVID and now this is how you're gonna act like violent riots tear gassing people rubber bullets having to board up an innocent shop because you're worried about the windows being broken or being vandalized because of these riots that have turned bad an innocent police officer being shot two police officers that didn't even like live their life yet 124 129 they're dead what is this all for like I get that it's for black lives matter but like why violence why destroy innocent people's stuff? Like, some people aren't even taking a stance on this and you're destroying their lives. You're destroying their financial abundance. You're destroying a whole bunch of stuff. Like, and you're destroying your life in the middle of all of it. Like, why? Why are we doing this? Why, why can't we have love? Why can't we lead with kindness? No matter what, who you are or what you look like on the outside and the inside all of our blood is the same color hate to break it to you whether you appear black on the outside or white or tan or purple for all I care we're all the same so treat each other equally treat each other with kindness like did you forget the unwritten rule like don't if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all or like, don't harm other people's stuff. Like, let's be real guys, like this is becoming unreal. Like we're living in a time where the past is coming back to haunt us, except for we are gonna make it 10 times worse than when we lived in the beginning. Do you want that? Do you wanna live in a world where you're fearful of like, what's gonna happen when you walk outside the door? I was scared in the store like I don't want anybody to get disgruntled because I'm not sure what their reaction is going to be nowadays like that's taking away a piece of my security and I don't like it like I, I I'm not discrediting anything that happened because it's terrible it really is a person lost their life like a blood was shed for no reason like if he was in the wrong and he was doing something wrong, okay, I get it. Like, I completely get it. However, we didn't need to kill him for it. So when you do something wrong, should we kill you? I mean, think about it. Like, how are you going to talk to your kids about this? How are you going to tell kids in the future about this? I mean, how is it affecting you? How is it affecting your community? I seen the riot firsthand out my window last night. I heard the gunshots. Like, that's how it's affecting me. And I don't like it. I don't want us all to have to come together for this. Can't we come together for something positive? Doesn't make sense, does it? I challenge you to lead with love. I challenge you to lead with kindness. Doesn't matter who you are. You are worthy and you are enough. Everybody's life matters, whether you're purple, you're blue, you're green. Everybody's life matters. Nobody is any more better than anybody else. You know, when COVID hit and we were all on lockdown, except for the essential people, we were all the same. We were all sitting at home, no job. You know what I mean? Like, think about that. We were all born from the same cloth, you know? And this is how you treat it. And especially like this world that we live in, it's so beautiful. It's so, there's so many amazing things and you're gonna ruin that. Now you're putting a curfew on people because you couldn't handle yourself. I get it. It's important to stand up for what you believe in. But nowhere did it say get violent and act crazy. It didn't. Stand up for what you believe in. And if you believe that importantly about it, you'll find a way to make it happen. You don't need to blow up things or riot and cause, you know, 
just mass chaos. You don't need to do that. You can do it peacefully, I promise you. I don't like the world that we live in, and I'm not okay with it. And it is fearful to know what's going to happen, but until we all take a turn and we try to do things the right way, the positive way, with love and with kindness, it's not gonna work. So it's up to all of us to make sure that all of our lives matter and that we all come in with love and kindness. I'm sorry that this happened. I'm sorry if I personally did something. We can't take it back. We don't have a time machine, but we can choose how we're gonna go forward in the future. So, I mean, I, I did not put this message out to offend anybody, but just maybe to think a little bit differently about a situation. And just, I know I'm guilty of it too. Like I'm not nice all the time either, but we can, moving forward, make a bigger effort to be nice and to be kind. And I challenge you to do something different, to be the change you wish to see and lead with love and kindness. I hope this changes. I hope this gets better. I pray for positivity. I pray for light and guidance. But it all starts with us. We're the ones that we can change first. And then the others will have to follow, hopefully. Love you. Every life matters. Every single last one of them.